Chinatown, Zhongguochang, a place of persistence, tenacity, and perseverance. Through the years, this historic community has gone through many different struggles. But each time the town was threatened, the people stood up and fought for the survival of Chinatown. But before the fight to keep Chinatown, Chinatown had to be created. In the mid-1800s, Chinese immigration began because of economic opportunities presented in the United States. In 1882, immigration was ceased by the ratification of the Chinese Exclusion Act, which prohibited immigration of Chinese workers. Not until 1943, when the United States became allies with China in World War II, did this act get repealed. This sign, placed in Chinatown to mark the original location of the first business in the area, reads, Chinese immigrants came to Philadelphia as early as 1845. In 1870, the first laundry was established here at 913 Ray Street. In 1880, Chinatown's first restaurant, Mei Xiang Lo, opened on the second floor at the same location. These establishments triggered the creation of surrounding Chinese businesses. Over time, China developed into the cultural hub that it is today. I'm not, no, I'm not that much talk. Yeah. Uh, Gary, 16 years. Uh, 16 years. 16 yeah. years. Where did, did you come originally from China? No, I came from the, uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, before I lived in New York. And then more, uh, I lived in New York around about, oh, about 15 years. And then I come in, uh, yeah, from mm -hmm. We talked to Raymond and his wife, Lisa, the owners of the Dia Boutique, centered in the heart of Chinatown. The two live there happily and make an easy living off of their store. What is your store's name? Oh, the Dia Boutique. D I A. But life wasn't always this easy for the people of Chinatown. First day, they come and felt the outfit. Uh, everything, uh, did the old city, right? All the low, dirty, the shopping, not too much. Raymond and his wife saw their fair share of hardship in the Chinatown community, but they pulled through and stayed strong, which appears to be a tradition among the residents of the town. On 10th and Winter Streets, a large mural simply titled The History of Chinatown Stands Tall and Proud, illustrating some of the community's proudest moments. One of these moments is the battle against the Vine Street Expressway. In the 1960s, the government of Philadelphia pivoted its focus towards urban development. One of the major projects the city was planning was the construction of the Vine Street Expressway. There was just one big problem with this plan, however. To the east, an expansion of Independence Mall locked off the eastern border of Chinatown. To the south, the Gallery Mall was opened, and to the west, a convention center. If the expressway was being built in the initial proposed location, Chinatown would be boxed in on all four sides. Future growth would be impossible. In addition, the Vine Street Expressway would raise the beloved Holy Redeemer Catholic Church and School, a pillar of the neighborhood which brought together the different cultures of the town. Despite all of the urban development, Chinatown was adamant on keeping the cultural authenticity of the area. Many residents decided to stand up to this plan. A young widow named Cecilia Moya began the movement to fend off the expressway. She founded the PCDC, the Philadelphia Chinatown Development Corporation, in 1969. Aided by the Chinese Benevolent Association and a radical student group called the Yellow Seeds, the fight against the Vine Street Expressway had begun. After 10 long and gratuitous years in the battle against the expressway, a monumental moment in the battle was a demonstration against the construction in July 1973. A group of young heroes stood up to the demolition cranes by standing on a pile of rubble at 10th and Winter Streets to protect against the destruction of their homes. This defiance did not go unnoticed. The local media had picked up on this incident, and one of the reporters had joined the protesters on the rubble. The community had joined together for a common cause. In 1970, the newly enforced Environmental Protection Act 
was enacted by the PCDC. Because of this, environmental studies were done to figure out how expressways affected communities. After some research, the city decided to move the expressway so it would not destroy any of Chinatown, and instead go underneath where it was originally supposed to cut through. After 20 long rolling years, the people of Chinatown had finally won when developers had complied to PCDC demands to reroute the expressway. Chinatown was saved. In the past, Chinatown has struggled to survive, but today it thrives. Chinatown is now a major spot for tourism, with unique and authentic Chinese foods and items being sold to visitors at many shops. Because of this tourism, Chinatown is doing very well. But I think Raymond at the Dia Boutique explains it perfectly. I mean, more people they come and open the fishing machine, also they now love now now the passion that come from the another country, maybe another state. They come in the USA. They come and see the uh, fountain in the Independent Hall. They cross the Chinatown. I mean, not a, not a, not a outside people they come and read it. Not not a student they will like uh, hang around. Yeah, it comes in the Chinatown to eat the food because the Chinatown the food is not too high. All of Chinatown's current success comes from the victory against the Vine Street Expressway, which had gained Chinatown a voice in the city. Following the battle against the Vine Street Expressway, the PCDC collaborated with the City Planning Commission on a study for Chinatown called the Chadbourne Report that outlined new projects for the neighborhood, including new housing, streetscape improvements, and a senior center. The PCDC also targeted specific lots and areas of Chinatown that were lost from demolition. It worked with developers to reclaim these plots for the neighborhood and worked to implement cultural structures. Most famous of the structures is the Friendship Gate, known for its authentic look and striking appearance. It attracts many people to the neighborhood, making it a hot spot for tourists. The success of the fight against the Vine Street Expressway did not just make the city acknowledge Chinatown, but it made Chinatown acknowledge itself. The population's newfound confidence allowed the people to stand up for themselves. Chinatown's troubles were not over, however. Still facing problems with gentrification or the raising of property values from a rush of affluent residents, the Chinese population is weakening slightly. Nevertheless, with its long experience of fighting to keep its culture intact, Chinatown is more than ready to take a stand again if needed.